Look, this is really in the news and a related topic. A doctor at the Cleveland Clinic added fuel to the fire by writing a blog questioning whether preservatives used in vaccines are safe for infants. He wrote, newborns without intact immune systems and detoxification systems are being overburdened with preservatives and adjuvants in the vaccines. Some of the vaccines have helped reduce the incidence of childhood communicable diseases like meningitis. That's great news, but not at the expense of neurologic diseases like autism. Since that blog was released, there's been a huge backlash in the medical and scientific community. Uh, doctors obviously expressing uh, a lot of outrage. And joining us now to discuss this particular topic via satellite is infectious disease specialist, Dr. William Schaffner from Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Dr. Schaffner, great to have you back on the show. Really appreciate you joining us. Welcome. Hey, Good morning, Dr. Schaffner. Good, good to be with you. And Dr. Schaffner, I know you spend a lot of your time not only dealing with patients, but trying to educate the public. And obviously doctors spend a lot of their time trying to debunk certain myths out there, and there is a lot of fear mongering. Uh, I'm curious what your response is to when, when something like this does get out there in the news. Well, we're all surprised and, of course, concerned because the Cleveland Clinic, it's a very respected professional source. And what we don't want is for parents to have more doubts, more concerns, and be miseducated about vaccines. Vaccines are remarkably safe. They've been remarkably effective. Of course, a lot of the concern out there is because they've been so successful that diseases are not there anymore. And if you don't respect and fear the disease, you wonder why you should get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. You don't value the vaccine. So we all have to educate, comfort, and reassure. I think parents should talk to their pediatricians and family doctors, a source of wonderfully good, solid information. Dr. Schaffer, I have a question. Some families often ask about the spacing of vaccines, and they wonder, would it be more productive or is it healthier for kids to get vaccines, but to have them spaced out on a different schedule than what's typically recommended by pediatricians? What's your response to that? Yeah, so Ms. Martin, you know, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the American Academy of Family Physicians, along with the CDC, have a recommended immunization schedule. Why? Because it works. It works very effectively. And those little babies have actually a much more robust immune system than you would think. They can manage all that. The longer you spread out the immunizations, the longer the child will remain susceptible to the diseases. So we all try to adhere to the recommended schedule. It's best for the protection of those babies. And Dr. Schaffer, can you address the issue of preservatives and additives to the vaccines? I mean, that seems to be the biggest source of, of contention and, and fear-mongering, like, uh, like Dr. Travis alluded to. Yeah, so, so, so exactly. None of these vaccines would be licensed unless they were safe and they're reviewed by any number of expert advisory committees. There can be tiny little traces, I mean, molecules of some of these products that are used in the manufacture of the vaccine. We are exposed to those things in the environment in much larger amounts. So it's been clearly determined that the vaccines are remarkably safe, not only those used here in the United States, but around the world. The World Health Organization would not be recommending these things. The pediatricians in this country would not be recommending these things for our children, my grandchildren, unless they were remarkably safe. And I think, actually, before we let you go, Dr. Shafter, I think that's a really important point. And we always have, I think, really robust conversations on this show. And there are a lot of people who view vaccines as a big conspiracy theory. And I think it's important to note that the great majority of doctors out there vaccinate their own kids. They are vaccinated, and people would not do that if they, in their hearts and souls, did not believe in the effectiveness and safety. And as with any treatment, there are, look, there are always some risks with anything you do, but is it fair to say that, that that's part of this? At the end of the day, um, whether you're talking to, again, the great majority of pediatricians, infectious disease experts, that's what they're doing in their own home. Is that fair to say? That's absolutely correct. My grandchildren were vaccinated exactly according to schedule. You betcha. Well, Dr. Schaffner, <laughs> we, we really we appreciate yeah. you. Thank you.